My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button, and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hello? 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 Uh, so I know tracker GG is down right now, so I guess you can't link me your tracker. I guess you can start sharing screens. I have bongs. Oh, careful with the knife out there. Nice shot. Nice shot. We're exposing ourselves from multiple angles. No way you six that. Yeah, you won anyway. He's good shots. No, your aim is really good. The only thing I was a little bit worried there, we were exposed from two angles at once. I don't know if you noticed that when we were watching like pipes from behind that box on site. Yeah, so just be a little bit careful of that. But obviously towards the end there, we, we heard both of them there. Caver, what's up? What's going on? Oh, that's right, that's right. I like the way that you're entering like that. Just make sure before going in, is your team with you? If the answer is no, we need to wait a little bit. They're just chilling back there. I don't know. Te your teammate's buying, so we're going to go full armor here, actually. And knives. Yeah. Nice. Shot. Oh, close right underneath you. Careful. Help. Oh. Careful with running too much. I 100% would start uh, walking a bit more. And I think we hit our knife out a little bit too much there. Even though there's 45 seconds left on the clock. That's so much time. That's so much time, trust me. The only time you should start panicking, if there was like 20, that's when we start panicking. Damn. Yeah, this is the play, actually. I would have avoided this long distance peek. Oh, how we're peeking angles. We're not peeking angles well. We're holding W around corners. It was a good try. It was a good try. Care yeah, careful with pulling out your knife and her gun, swapping back and forth. I'm noticing that a lot. A lot of times we get a kill and we pull out the knife, right? It's been. Oh, okay. I think it's how we're peeking, actually. How we're peeking okay. angles is the big thing right, right now. Oh. All good. All good. All good. So we have really good, like, raw aim, but I think it's like our movement and peaks. And. Oh, how are we. Dude, we're, we're taking so much free damage, I feel like. Oh, our crosshair placement. What are we? Uh, gun out, gun out, gun out. Yeah. The 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 play to take space there after getting sight when we're down numbers actually really good, right? Uh, in a two v three, two v four situation, you have to get one. Now it's a two v two. You can get to play numbers. Oh, what we can start doing is maybe we can start lurking a little bit. Uh, let's go through. Yeah, through here. Yeah, and just walk. Teammates are just running down mid, literally inting. Standing. We kind of spraying a little bit too much. Uh, and sometimes what we could do is kind of slow it down a little bit and then go with like a more like a burst, you know, burst, strafe, burst, strafe kind of deal. One, oh, too, much, too much quick switching, spraying, looking down, right? I don't like I don't like that. Nice job. Good round. That was a good one. Nice. It was really good damage, though. Very good damage. Oh, good try. It's a really good try, actually. My money don't shoot. Nice. I like the patience there. I like that a lot. Very good. Very good. Just be patient. A little too crazy, but it's all good. Nice job. This was a really good round. I noticed we, we reload a ton, right? Like, we'll take a couple shots, and then we go around the corner, and then we reload again. I usually hardly ever reload. I just... I've, I've had a similar issue before. Very nice. But, yeah. Dash, maybe? Not yeah, at least you're realizing it, right? Like, that's definitely a situation I would have not peaked because you're up numbers. You're giving them an opportunity to get back into the round for free. Because on a save round, you can very much win. I think we do a lot of panicking, to be honest. Uh-oh. Close, close. Ah! 
we're putting ourselves in spots where we don't really have an immediate escape. Opping is strictly about positioning. It's really reliant on how well you can position yourself and give yourself like an out or an escape or an angle that you're holding. Quick switch. A lot of these, like, we are stuck in so many animations a lot of the time. The way we're peeking, right? W around these corners. We're loading too much. We just took uh, free damage, right? Because we were loading. Okay. I like the play to dash. Nice. Very nice skill. Good smoke as well. Okay, escapes and util use is actually good, to be honest. That's not even a problem. God, that feels good to finally win one. I've been down bad for... <laughs> That was good. It's good. It's a solid game. So, okay, let me hop into a quick custom and go over some things that'll help you out. Now, for the most part, uh, we do a lot of what's called animation stalling, where we're uh, we're just stuck in animations, okay? This whole thing, right? This entire time I'm doing this, I cannot shoot my gun. I'm holding mouse one, but I can't shoot, right? So every time you do this little quick switch, there's like two seconds go by, uh, and you do this a lot. And there's a lot of opportunities where people are peeking you, and you can't punish them for that. Sometimes you just pull out your knife, and then they peek around the corner, and they start shooting you a little bit, and you just take free damage. You have 70 HP before you even decide to see anyone and take a gunfight. Crosshair placement. A lot of the time when we're running around the map, this is our crosshair placement, right? And... But what happens is this becomes a habit where our crosshair placement isn't ideal and it's not looking good. And then we bring that habit to scenarios where they could be somewhere. So what do I mean by that? There was one round where you pushed through B. It was you and your teammate. You ran with your knife out like this, looking at the grounds uh, while you're taking space. The idea to take space was good because you're down in 2v3. And when you're down numbers, you need to go for an aggressive play like this. And I like the play a lot. Only problem is like we have our knife out. We're pushing snowman and our crosshairs at the ground. What happens if he peeks? Now we have to do this. By the time you do, you've done all this, you could be dead. Make sure it's head level, head level, head level, head level. Even when you're rotating, just practice it, right? Just practice having head level. We do something like this, we, di we dip, and then we smoke the ground, then we're smoking the ground, and then it's like, it messes with our crosshair placement and our aim rather than like actually getting to play the game. We, we do this like kind of quick switch, look down, quick switch, look down. It's like, what am I even doing anymore, right? I, you, you lose your train of thought by doing a lot of this kind of stuff. So a lot of time when you're peeking corners, you're peeking with your W key. So this is really bad for a couple reasons, right? One, when we're W keying around corners, where we are spotted a lot earlier than we see them. If he's holding this angle and I'm holding W into him, my movement and my model isn't changing. It The only thing that's different is the model is getting bigger because he's moving towards you. Back away from the angle, strafe A and D. And this is how you should be peeking angles. So strafe, you know, and then again, back away from the wall, strafe, 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 and then we W. And then strafe, 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 strafe. If you do plan on holding W, you should first strafe the angle and then clear it. And then after that is when you'd hold W. With opping, if you do plan on opping, your opping positioning should be in a way that you have an escape. Well, after we got spotted here with our op, uh, we just took a shot and then we fell. And then after falling, we started holding this angle. And then we got to like this part, this poor, or this part here, and then we activated our dash. But the thing is like, you always need to understand like, where am I gonna be dashing to if I miss my shot? If we're up here, like it doesn't matter if we dash here, you see where we're gonna end up. This is what happened. We ended up dashing right to here. Hold an angle where you have an escape. Hold this, maybe this, maybe this. And then if, you know, we take a shot and then dash to the other side. So always think of your escapes when you're opping. So you definitely have the raw, raw mechanics there. I think it's just a little bit of fixing those little mistakes and you'll notice a huge difference, seriously. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yep. Have a good one.